Okay, now that we have uploaded all of our metadata to Pinata, we're going to go ahead and go, uh, we're gonna open up the other Hashlips repository, the NFT contract. So go to file, open folder. You are going to open up the in Hashlips NFT contract 1.0.0. And I of course named mine for my project. And you go ahead and sorry, select that folder, boom. So here on the left, you can see we now have a new workspace <clears throat> and this one has two files in it, nf, simple nft.soul and simple nft .flat, underscore flat soul. We're gonna go ahead and select this um, simple nft underscore flat dot soul script and go ahead and select all and copy that. Okay, now we're going to open up Remix. So we're going to open up remix.ethereum.org and we're going to make sure that we're on the correct wallet. Perfect. <clears throat> so if you come over here, you can see I have the zombie bitsens pulled up. So what we want to do is create a new workspace and we're going to call it biohackers okay and you can see that we have three kind of example contracts here provided by um, remix but we can go ahead and delete all of these go ahead and select all of them and delete all okay and you can close the scripts and test so now that we have a blank workspace we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> create a new file under contracts and we're going to call it what our collection is which is biohackers okay and hit enter we're going to come over and paste the fl the nft the simple nft underscore flat script right here okay now you can see it's created all of these uh, files for us which is great we're gonna go down now that we have all of that in place we can select our biohackers.soul file and this is going to uh, allow us to deploy the smart contract Side note, if you, um, I've already set this up, but if you are in your um, visual, visual Studio Code and you don't have um, the Soul extension, again, you can go to Visual Studio Code Marketplace, extensions, and then dot .soul. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna type in uh, Solidity, and this is the extension that you can download. So you go ahead and install that. It will open up in Visual Studio Code. I already have it installed. You just hit install, and this will be able to read the .sol file, just so everybody can have that extension. Okay, trying to just cover all the blockhead things that I had to go through. So. Now we are back on Remix and we have copied and pasted our uh, simple NFT underscore flat dot soul file here. And we are now going to come down to over here on the left on our dashboard to the compiler. Right here, you're going to want to select and you can see this is the this is very important that you need to be running the pragma solidity from it's got to be greater than 0.7 and less than 0.9 I'm running on 8 0.8.7 okay this is important when we want to go get our contract verified okay so we know that our compiler is 0.8.7 the language is solidity 
and we're going to leave the EVM version to default. The auto compile should be checked and we want to also check the enable optimization and now that way it will auto compile and optimize for us. See, so let's compile this and it should go green, good green up there, which is great. And we don't have that yet, so we won't worry about this yet. And we're going to come down here to uh, the little Ethereum where we can deploy. So up in the environment, we want to select Injected Web 3. This is going to connect to my MetaMask wallet. This is my CRISPR account, and this is what I want this collection associated with. All of this we can leave the gas limit, the value of the way. Okay, so we haven't deployed the contract yet. So um, what we do want to do is come over to a line 1235 and we want to rename this NFT, contract NFT to contract biohackers, biohackers. Okay, and then control S and save that. It should compile. Great. All right, so we don't need to change the base URI or the JSON extension, but right here, the cost of what it's going to be to mint. For this case, we're going to go ahead and put four Ether, and it won't be Ether, that'll be Matic, and, um, and that will be fine. So now we're going, and that'll be like two, four, eight bucks, right? Okay, if that. So the max supply on this collection was 500. So you wanna make sure you put your max supply of your collection. And then the max amount to mint, I'm gonna put at 100. That way when I deploy it, I can deploy it at 100 at a time. Okay, so here is where uh, if you want your contract paused, you can pause it on release. Let's say that you hyped it all up and everybody's ready and you want to deploy before the launch date, you can put true right here and your contract will be paused when you deploy it. I don't want that. I want my contract to be live. So make sure that it's false. And if and we want it to be revealed, we don't want them to be hidden. So this one is going to be true. And then we're gonna save that. So this, for me, looks correct. The cost is four ether to mint. It max supply of 500. I'll be able to mint 100 at a time. And all of this can stay the same. So all of this looks good. There it is, the biohackers. Okay, so on the contract, you wanna make sure it's the biohackers. Same with here. That's what I was looking for, biohackers. This is the contract we want to deploy. Select your contract or else you'll be deploying to the, or another contract. Okay, so now that we have selected the correct contract, we're going to name our project. This would be like naming the token. So biohackers is the name of the, of the token. And the symbol we're going to do. And I'm going to put an S on this and call it biohacks. That way we know this is the correct one. And our string is going to be this IPFS colon slash slash here our metadata CID go back to remix paste that in there and then we're going to add a backslash so go ahead and control a select all of that let's open a new tab and that is correct IPFS slash slash CID number ends with Z8X and the backslash. This is correct. So we know this is good to go. You wanna make sure this is absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and transact this. 
and let's pray. I'm gonna bump up the gas to high and just pump it up just a little. Save that and push. All right. So let's mint one down here. We'll mint one. And I'm going to pump up the gas to high. And that should be fine. And confirm. All right, so we will wait for this to complete. All right, looks like it's done. And we can come down to our total supply and call on it. It takes a second or two. Wait for it. One, there it is. So it made it. Let's see if it's now in my collections over here. Biohackers. Okay. So now we have successfully uh, use the correct IPFS. So now if we come to our collections, you can see that we have, there's zero in here right now. And I'm assuming it's because it just takes time to populate. Okay. So maybe we'll check out my profile in the meantime. Maybe it'll pop up here. In the meantime, let's come back and co recopy all of that data. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go back from the beginning. This is the new contract address. Save that. Now we're going to do the encoded values. And that's going to be this. Copy that. Okay, save. Now we're going to come back to the compiler, grab the ABI. And then we're going to save that. And then we're going to come back and grab the bytecode. Okay. Save that. Okay. So all that looks good. Let's come back to our collection. One item. And boom. It's made it. Oh my gosh. We did it together. You finally graduated Blockhead University. Oh my gosh. All right. So the reason that it is laborious and you have to go through these hoops and do this is because unlike that first video, we just ran through the generator. That was great. The second part was how do you upload your collection? Well, I was doing it manually with robots. So this way, look, your properties come in and everything is here perfect. You don't have to use the robot. And when you do that, there's errors that can happen in your collection, which create new categories and properties. And it's a nightmare and it takes days, weeks. So this is the full spectrum. So that worked great. So now that we know we have one deployed, let's go ahead and do 99 because we only want to mint a hundred at a time. Why? Because if you do more than that, it seems like the transactions fail. So we're going to mint 99 now. And this will be the completion of our first batch. And it looks like there's a lot of network activity right now. And so just going to deploy um, one at a time at a, in a rate of 100 with gas limit at high because I don't want it to fail. Okay, it looks like our first batch went through. Let's call on the total supply, 100. Great, let's go back to our collection and we should have 100. Great. Where are they? <laughs> Looks great. Where are they? 
So these are the nail biting emotional roller coaster that you're gonna go through. And <clears throat> I can't deny, I mean, even no matter how many times you go on stage right before you go, if you don't get the butterflies, you still don't have it in you yet. You know, it's it should always be nerve wracking. You should always feel that, you know, live, liveliness. And here they come. Wonderful. So be patient. Be patient. It takes time and it's nerve wracking. So you'll just have to wait. <clears throat> if you come across one like this and the image isn't available yet, don't freak out. Just refresh the metadata. Number 32, we'll watch her. And she should come. Boom. There it is. So that's what happens if you don't see your item. Let's refresh. We should have a hundred down here now. One hundred. And they all look great. So this is incredibly easier. You'll come here. Let's, maybe we can refresh the metadata. Number twelve. Oh. Number eighty-three. Refresh the metadata. Okay, and that's our first 100. So we checked them all, and they are all there. Looks good. See, I got nervous. Oh, is that the same one? No, that's Venetian marble. That's white. They look real close, but they are different. Okay, so we got our first 100. That's great. Let's go back and do our next 100. So it's been highly congested on the network today, so I'm going to pump this gas. It says it's higher than it needs to be. So what about 80? Looks great. Sending it. And we're going to confirm that. Waiting for another 100 to be minted. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have deployed all 500. Let's go check the total supply. Nope, I was right. Okay, 500 have been deployed like I thought. So let's make sure, boom, there's our 500 and we're good. We're live and um, all of the metadata is correct. Background purple, biohacker is a Krona, and this is stride. So, 